So I'm going to approach this situation to the best of my ability and as truthful as possible because the internet currently is not telling the truth. Before we go into the actual incident itself, let me talk about what is going on currently. So Adam Johnson, a ex-NHL Penguins hockey player, ended up passing away this weekend. This guy right here known as Matt Petgrave basically murdered him. I'm not going to show the situation on screen, but I will describe it to you. Basically, they were both going for a check and Matt Petgrave thought it was a great idea to go ahead and lift his skate maybe 90 degree up towards Adam's neck, thus cutting him and splitting his neck completely open and it was just a terrible situation all around now people on the internet including the fake news media are saying that oh oh it was an accident he was just running into his teammate he was making a check this always happens in hockey um no i've watched hockey forever i love the crap out of this sport but nobody unless you are a figure skater has lifted their skate 90 degrees knowing that it could be used as a weapon if in the wrong hands. In this situation, this clip looks like he meant to do it. He wanted to hurt this person. Was it intent to murder? Probably not. He was probably just trying to injure him and then he'll come back the next game. But unfortunately for Petgrave, Adam passed away and a lot of people are pissed off. It's not just in the hockey community. It is now in the political community. This thing is so massive. People want this guy brought to justice. And I agree. I want to know if it was an accident or if it was blatant. Because a lot of people are not going to say the truth right now. A lot of people who literally have the size of one brain cell, they can't even put it into consideration that this may have been blatant or this may have been an opportunity for him to kill Adam. The hockey community is as liberal as you can get. And a lot of them are really upset because this really got mainstream to the point where even Drama Alert is posting about it. That's how crazy this shit is. First, let's read the title of this article here from Sportsnet. It says, former NHLer Adam Johnson dies after freak accident, quote unquote, during a game in England. The Nottingham Panthers decided to make this post basically saying that they are devastated of the news and that they hope that the fans and both clubs respect the family, the Johnson's family, with privacy and respect. Well, that didn't happen because what did actually happen was people were putting this clip under a microscope over and over again you would see this clip in different variations different angles all kinds of stuff it's brutal i hate watching that but i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that wasn't on purpose moving on to the next couple tweets i have here from athetica Content warning, graphic video. I apologize for taking a break from my normal content, but this incident needs exposure. I've played hockey my entire life. I've never seen even remotely anything close to this sick and gruesome. The attacker, Matt Petgrave, player in red, pictured below on the left, purposely kicks the victim, Adam Johnson, player in white, pictured below on the right, with his skate directly in the throat. Adam unfortunately died from his injuries. At this point, Petgrade has not been arrested and is yet to face any consequences. Meanwhile, the disgusting mainstream press is calling this a freak accident. I can assure you there's no possible way this is an accident. Your body doesn't move like this on the ice. This was an attempted sidekick to the throat that resulted in a man's death. Please share if you're able. I agree with this 100%. Your foot doesn't just fly up. That's just not how it works. Here's another tweet by End Wokeness. NHL player Adam Johnson, 29 years old, died on live TV after Matt Petgrave slashed his throat with his skate. Petgrave has a history of bad behavior in the EIHL, including racking up the most penalty minutes in the 2022-2023 season and getting booted out of two games. Not just one game. He got kicked out of two games for his aggressive play. The media quickly has declared it a total accident, but many viewers and expert hockey players are not convinced. Yes, because if you have eyeballs, you can see that this was not an accident. Your foot doesn't fly all the way to the sky when you're falling down. Let's move on to the update 
of Matt Petgrave, seeing if he gets any consequences whatsoever. Nope! Matt Petgrave, the player involved in the Adam Johnson play, is absolutely devastated and being bombarded with hate mail. He's not devastated. The only reason that he's devastated is because he is, quote unquote, getting hate mail. And why is he getting hate mail, you say? Well, maybe because he just murdered somebody on the ice. This guy is an absolute criminal. He needs to be brought to justice. At least he should be charged with manslaughter. But we know how this is going to go. He's going to go to court. He's going to get a slap on the wrist for about six months. And then he'll be out again playing hockey. We know how this works. But are people going to remember or let him even play hockey anymore? Probably not because everywhere this guy goes, if he is on the street and people know who he is and what he's done, especially Canada, because Canada is a huge hockey country, he's not going to be able to go anywhere in Canada. And if he is, well, it just proves to you right there, there's no justice for people that are of the opposite race. Honestly, I want to see at least 20 to 30 years in prison. And if I don't see 20 to 30 years in prison and I see like six years, five years, heck, if I even see five or six months, it will prove to me and prove to everyone that there is an agenda out there that's about killing white people for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And for whatever reason, if it is an accident, and I'm going to strongly, strongly oppose that, but if it was an accident and it comes out that Matt Petgrave did not intend to kill or intend to injure in absolutely any way then I will make an update and apologize but until that happens this guy murdered somebody and he needs to be brought to justice oh yeah and also the police are apparently investigating the situation but it's not a real investigation because after an incident occurs during a hockey game they always by law do it anyway i'm not surprised that the media is covering this one up because it's not a white person imagine if the roles were reversed and it was adam johnson that killed matt petgrave there would be flags there will be blm your local starbucks would be burnt down there would be statues absolutely everywhere around the united states with his face on it even though he's canadian but since it's not the media is silent and everybody else is lost they're sympathizing for the black man because the blacks were enslaved yada 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 whatever reparations but the people who actually have brains see this as not an accident and i'm sitting here like i agree i don't think it's an accident but we're gonna see where the police investigation goes and we will just go from there if you guys enjoyed today's video please drop a like down below and if you don't like this video make sure you drop a nice dislike it drives engagement and i appreciate you taking your time and wasting your time watching this video but i hope you guys have a great rest of your guys's day and god bless you have a great day